guys, this next class is a strength and conditioning class using your dumbbells. I hope you guys enjoy it. For this segment, let's grab some dumbbells. Now, ladies, uh, three kilograms, four kilograms, or five kilograms, depending on your strength, would be ideal for these programs. Um, fellas, let's work, let's start at around about five kilograms. If you're a little bit stronger, seven and a half, nines, 12 and a half. You certainly don't want to go over 15 kilogram weights with this one because you won't be able to finish the, the program. Okay guys, we're going to start to warm up. We're going to warm up just bending forward, working some uppercuts. Now what I'm going to do to get my legs involved as well, you can see I'm going up and down with it. Okay, just like that. Let's just start to warm up together. Let's go for a minute. Let's keep working through those. A little bit of a bounce. I want to start to get my quadriceps involved. You can see I'm keeping my elbows tucked right in. So really trying to warm everything up, get some blood flowing. And get ready for some action. And 15 seconds. Keep throwing those uppercuts out. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Alright guys, just another warm-up exercise. So we're going to go into a very light squat, come up into a light shoulder press. So you can see they're very light, it's not a full range movement, just a warm-up technique. We just want to get the blood flowing. So straight up, straight down. Now as you start to warm up, we can start to increase the range a little bit. So you can see I'm going deeper on those squats now as I'm warming up. Five more, four more, three more, two more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Okay guys, wide push-ups for this exercise. I want you to watch me. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure my hands are at shoulder widths or even slightly wider. And I'm gonna set myself up. I'm gonna drop down, get my chest to my dumbbell and lift straight back up. One more time, you can see I'm holding a nice straight plank so there's no snake motion. Your turn to try it. Alright Ben, let's get into it. Okay, so you guys can see nice straight body from the shoulder to the ankle. You want to make sure you're holding that hard plank in place and you're keeping your abs active. You can see the elbows are dropping right out, so we're making a perfect T over here. And we're trying to keep our wrists nice and straight, so you want to try not to snap your wrist back. You want to try and keep it as straight as you can. Okay, we're doing really well. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. Let's keep going. Now, if you struggle with this exercise and you need to drop to your knees and, and do it from your knees, that's okay, but let's try and start in this position. We've got three more reps, Ben. One, two, and one last one. Perfect. We're done. Okay, hammer grip push-ups or tricep push-ups for this next one, guys. The way we're going to do it is we're going to hold a hammer position, which is palm to palm. And when I drop down into the push-up, I want to make sure my elbows are tucked in for this one. So dropping just like this and straight back up. You notice the elbows are tucked in, wrist is nice and straight and lifting, full range of motion. Let's get you guys to try it. All right guys, I'm gonna do this one with you, let's go. So you guys can see I'm holding my nice straight plank, so there's a straight line from my shoulder to my ankle. I'm not breaching, I'm not sticking my bum out like this. Maintaining, so I wanna keep the core engaged the whole time and elbows are staying nicely tucked by my ribs, just like that. Nice range of motion, you can see I'm getting all the way down to the dumbbell and pulling all the way back up. Now, if you start to really have trouble with this and you can't do it, you can do what I'm doing now. I'm gonna drop to my knees, I'm gonna work from there. This is a much easier version, just like that. Let's try and finish off, let's get a few more repetitions. Two more. 
And one last one. And let's finish there. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. All right, Ben, let's get into it. Okay, so you guys can see nice straight body from the shoulder to the ankle. You want to make sure you're holding that hard plank in place and you're keeping your abs active. You can see the elbows are dropping right out, so we're making a perfect T over here. And we're trying to keep our wrists nice and straight, so you want to try not to snap your wrist back. You want to try and keep it as straight as you can. Okay, we're doing really well. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. Let's keep going. Now, if you struggle with this exercise and you need to drop to your knees and, and do it from your knees, that's okay, but let's try and start in this position. We've got three more reps, Ben. One, two, and one last one. Perfect, we're done. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this one with you. Let's go. So you guys can see I'm holding my nice straight plank. So there's a straight line from my shoulder to my ankle. I'm not breaching, I'm not sticking my bum out like this. Maintaining, so I wanna keep the core engaged the whole time. And elbows are staying nicely tucked by my ribs, just like that. Nice range of motion. You can see I'm getting all the way down to the dumbbell and pulling all the way back up. Now, if you start to really have trouble with this and you can't do it, you can do what I'm doing now. I'm gonna drop to my knees. I'm gonna work from there. This is a much easier version, just like that. Let's try and finish off. Let's get a few more repetitions. Two more. And one last one. And let's finish there. Okay, chest flies for this next exercise. I want you guys to watch me. So from here, I'm gonna press my weights together, soft straight arms, right above me, so it's a nice vertical line there. I'm gonna drop out lateral movement into a T. I'm gonna stop before I touch the floor and straight back out. So you can see, I'm keeping those soft straight arms the whole way, so I'm not actually adding any bend to this movement. So, the, so I'm driving it using my chest. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see nice, soft, straight arms. You can see the strength is coming from the chest, not from the arms, basically. So there's no movement, there's no extra bend in those elbows. Um, and nice, steady movement, um, solid base down the bottom so we don't have to think about the feet at all. Everything's looking nice and perfect. Just want to make sure you're exhaling, so breathing out as you're pushing that fly in. And then you want to breathe in and reset at this point right here. Perfect. Let's keep it going. Now, be conscious to make sure your elbows or your um, wrists don't touch the floor. So we just want to make sure it's your chest that's stopping you and not the floor. One last repetition. And you're done. guys this next exercise is a close grip press or a tricep press if you like so the way it works is I'm gonna press my dumbbell together like that in a hammer position and I'm gonna drop it down to my chest with my elbows tucked right in I'm gonna press straight up so this is taking some of the pressure off my chest and it's actually putting it on my triceps let's get you guys to have a go Okay, let's go guys. So you guys can see Sarah's elbows are tucked right by her side, so she's keeping the pressure on the triceps, pushing right up into a straight line, and we're very careful to manage the wrist, so you wanna make sure there's no movement in the wrist, you wanna keep it protected the whole time. Press the two dumbbells together, that's gonna help you with stability. Let's keep working. Exhale as you push up, inhale as you reset. Touch your chest and lift again. Let's keep working. We've got about 10 seconds left on this one. Two 
two more reps. And time. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see nice, soft, straight arms. You can see the strength is coming from the chest, not from the arms, basically. So there's no movement, there's no extra bend in those elbows. Um, and nice, steady movement, um, solid base down the bottom so we don't have to think about the feet at all. Everything's looking nice and perfect. Just want to make sure you're exhaling, so breathing out as you're pushing that fly in. And then you want to breathe in and reset at this point right here. Perfect. Let's keep it going. Now, be conscious to make sure your elbows or your um, wrists don't touch the floor. So we just want to make sure it's your chest that's stopping you and not the floor. One last repetition. And you're done. Okay, let's go, guys. So you guys can see Sarah's elbows are tucked right by her side, so she's keeping the pressure on the triceps, pushing right up into a straight line, and we're very careful to manage the wrist, so you wanna make sure there's no movement in the wrist. You wanna keep it protected the whole time. Press the two dumbbells together. That's gonna help you with stability. Let's keep working. Exhale as you push up, inhale as you reset. Touch your chest and lift again. Let's keep working. We've got about 10 seconds left on this one. Two more reps. And time. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see nice, soft, straight arms. You can see the strength is coming from the chest, not from the arms, basically. So there's no movement, there's no extra bend in those elbows. Um, and nice, steady movement, um, solid base down the bottom so we don't have to think about the feet at all. Everything's looking nice and perfect. Just want to make sure you're exhaling, so breathing out as you're pushing that fly in. And then you want to breathe in and reset at this point right here. Perfect. Let's keep it going. Now, be conscious to make sure your elbows or your um, wrists don't touch the floor. So we just want to make sure it's your chest that's stopping you and not the floor. One last repetition. And you're done. Okay, let's go, guys. So you guys can see Sarah's elbows are tucked right by her side, so she's keeping the pressure on the triceps, pushing right up into a straight line, and we're very careful to manage the wrist, so you wanna make sure there's no movement in the wrist. You wanna keep it protected the whole time. Press the two dumbbells together. That's gonna help you with stability. Let's keep working. Exhale as you push up, inhale as you reset. Touch your chest and lift again. Let's keep working. We've got about 10 seconds left on this one. Two more reps. And time. Okay, skull crushers for the next exercise. I want you to watch me. So what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna lift in a hammer position straight up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate my arms until they're shoulder width. Now, you wanna make sure you've got them at shoulder width, otherwise, on your way down, you're gonna give the name of the exercise some justice. You wanna make sure we're not doing that. You wanna try and keep it parallel arms the whole way. Elbows are nice and still, and the movement comes from your wrist to your elbow only, just like that.
Go with 10. Okay, let's get into those skull crashes, guys. So you guys can see a beautiful vertical line. So you can see as Christina finishes up, she's finished up in a straight line. Now, elbows are at shoulder width and they're not moving. Elbows are staying stationary throughout the whole movement. And as she's dropping back, she's making sure she misses her face and just dropping out to the sides, just like that. Perfect. Let's keep working. Now, make sure you're exhaling as you're pushing up, and that's going to assist you. That's going to carry the move through for you. Two more reps. One last one. Great job. You're done. Pullover crunches for this next exercise, guys. We're going to work a pullover and we're going to add a crunch to it. I want you guys to watch me. So from here, hammer position, I'm pressing um, the dumbbells together. I'm going to push right up and I'm going to add a crunch at the end, just there. I'm going to stop there and work my way back. I'm going to stop before my dumbbell touches the floor. Soft, straight arms the whole time. Your turn. Okay, Christina, let's get into it. Good, so you guys can see really nice, smooth movement, crunch added at the end. The lower back staying on the floor, so we're not turning it into a sit-up, we're keeping it as a crunch. Now I'm going to show you guys a variation. So if you're having difficulty holding two dumbbells together, you can grab the one dumbbell and you can grab side to side like that. That's another way of doing it. So if you're having difficulty with it, drop one of your dumbbells and just use the one. Let's keep working through those. And you can see Christina's adding a pause at the end, so that's going to just add a little bit more juice to that um, crunch. If you can do that, that'll be ideal. Perfect. Nice range of motion. We're going all the way to the top and we're stopping just before we touch the ground. One last repetition, Christina. And you're done. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into those skull crashes, guys. So you guys can see a beautiful vertical line. So you can see as Christina finishes up, she's finished up in a straight line. Now, elbows are at shoulder width and they're not moving. Elbows are staying stationary throughout the whole movement. And as she's dropping back, she's making sure she misses her face and just dropping out to the sides, just like that. Perfect. Let's keep working. Now, make sure you're exhaling as you're pushing up and that's going to assist you. That's going to carry the move through for you. Two more reps. One last one. Great job, you're done. Okay, Christina, let's get into it. Good, so you guys can see really nice, smooth movement, crunch added at the end. The lower back staying on the floor, so we're not turning it into a sit-up, we're keeping it as a crunch. I'm going to show you guys a variation. So if you're having difficulty holding two dumbbells together, you can grab the one dumbbell and you can grab side to side like that. That's another way of doing it. So if you're having difficulty with it, drop one of your dumbbells and just use the one. Let's keep working through those. And you can see Christina's adding a pause at the end, so that's going to just add a little bit more juice to that um, crunch. If you can do that, that'll be ideal. Perfect. Nice range of motion. We're going all the way to the top and we're stopping just before we touch the ground. One last repetition, Christina. And you're done.
crunches for this next exercise. So watch what I do. I'm just grabbing my weight. I'm going to put them together and rest it on my chest. I'm going to work my crunches from here. So squeezing right up, back down, resting my head. And as my head touches the floor, I'm going to lift again. Just like that. Your turn. Okay, Sarah, let's get into it. So a couple of things to note with these crunches. Just make sure the dumbbells are just rested on your chest. And what you want is you want um, sort of one head sitting above, one head sitting below so it's nice and comfortable. The other thing you want to make sure you're not doing is I don't want your elbows resting on the ground. Okay, that's cheating. We want to make sure we're not doing that. Let's keep working. Now, having a set of dumbbells like that right on top of you is a really good idea because it's going to stop you from breaking form. So you can see we're, we've got perfect movement here. Um, the lower back can't lift off the floor in this position, which is excellent because that's how you want to do it. Let's keep working. Let's go for three more repetitions. And you're done. Okay guys, we're going to work some pike crunches with this one, but we're going to add a pullover into it. So I want you guys to watch me. So I'm going to start off, hands together out here, legs nice and straight. I'm going to pull straight up into a pike, meet in the middle, and finish here. You want to try and close and open at the same time. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those pikes, guys. Now, you can see Sarah's arms are straight and her legs are straight. Toes are pointy. Excellent. And you can see good range of movement. So she's stopping just before she touches the floor on either side. And the movement is all together. So you're closing and opening at the same time. It's a simultaneous movement. We're not throwing the order out. Perfect. So we've got a nice crunch right here and we're opening right up um, on the other end. Now if you're having some trouble doing this exercise with two dumbbells in your hand, you can always just grab one and work with one. Let's keep working. We've got four more reps. Last two. Job. Okay guys, we're going to do a side plank for this exercise, but we're going to add a bit of a twist to it. Watch. So I lift myself up. Now to make life a little bit harder, I'm going to grab my dumbbell and rest it on my hip. Just going to hold it there. So we're going to hold for 45 seconds. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm going to do this one with you guys. So you can see a nice straight plank over here. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping a straight line um, all the way up my body. So pretty much from my ankles all the way to my head is a straight line. I'm going to try and maintain that. And you can see my arm is dropped directly underneath me. So I'm not putting too much pressure on my shoulder and just holding my weight here. Now, if it gets a little bit difficult for you, you can always just drop the weight. Okay, let's keep going. We've got around 20 seconds left on this one. So let's Hold that plank right up. Ten seconds to go. Now we're going to rest, we're going to change over and do the other side as well. So drop it down and let's change over. I've changed over to the other side now. So just hitting the same plank, but using um, my other obliques. So you're going to really feel this one burning up in your obliques underneath you. Okay, let's keep holding it still. Hold that position. 15 seconds in, we've got about 30 seconds to go. Now you're going to start to shake up a little bit. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. And just make sure you don't start to drop your hip. If I'm doing this, that's not really doing much. I want to make sure I'm holding it right up the whole time. Okay, 
keep holding it nice and straight, fight through it, we haven't got long to go. Five seconds. And you can stretch just by dropping your hip, just like that. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay, Sarah, let's get into it. So a couple of things to note with these crunches. Just make sure the dumbbells are just rested on your chest. And what you want is you want um, sort of one head sitting above, one head sitting below so it's nice and comfortable. The other thing you want to make sure you're not doing is I don't want your elbows resting on the ground. Okay, that's cheating. We want to make sure we're not doing that. Let's keep working. Now, having a set of dumbbells like that right on top of you is a really good idea because it's going to stop you from breaking form. So you can see we're, we've got perfect movement here. Um, the lower back can't lift off the floor in this position, which is excellent because that's how you want to do it. Let's keep working. Let's go for three more repetitions. And you're done. Okay, let's get into those pikes, guys. Now, you can see Sarah's arms are straight and her legs are straight, toes are pointy. Excellent, and you can see good range of movement, so she's stopping just before she touches the floor on either side. And the movement is all together, so you're closing and opening at the same time. It's a simultaneous movement. We're not throwing the order out. Perfect, so we've got a nice crunch right here and we're opening right up um, on the other end. Now if you're having some trouble doing this exercise with two dumbbells in your hand, you can always just grab one and work with one. Let's keep working. We've got four more reps. Last two. Excellent job. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this one with you guys. So you can see a nice straight plank over here. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping a straight line um, all the way up my body. So pretty much from my ankles all the way to my head is a straight line. I'm gonna try and maintain that. And you can see my arm is dropped directly underneath me. So I'm not putting too much pressure on my shoulder and just holding my weight here. Now, if it gets a little bit difficult for you, you can always just drop the weight, okay? Let's keep going. We've got around 20 seconds left on this one, so let's hold that plank right up. Ten seconds to go. Now, we're gonna rest, we're gonna change over and do the other side as well. So drop it down and let's change over. I've changed over to the other side now. So just hitting the same plank, but using um, my other obliques. So you're gonna really feel this one burning up in your obliques underneath you. Okay, let's keep holding it still, hold that position. 15 seconds in, we've got about 30 seconds to go. You're going to start to shake up a little bit, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. And just make sure you don't start to drop your hip. If I'm doing this, that's not really doing much. I want to make sure I'm holding it right up the whole time. Okay? Keep holding it nice and straight, fight through it. We haven't got long to go. Five seconds. And you can stretch just by dropping your hip, just like that. Supported overhead tricep extensions for this one, guys. So watch. So I'm going to place my hand just inside of my bicep there. I'm going to pull it right up so it's supporting my um, arm. And we're going to push straight up from here. Just trying to really keep that elbow nice and still. And you can see I'm pushing in a hammer position. Okay, just like that. There's no twist of the wrist at all. Your turn. Ok 
Okay, let's get started with those triceps, guys. Go. So a couple of things I want you guys to watch out for. So your elbow is pointing forward. There you go, like that. Perfect. So you want to make sure you're not twisting it out. You want to keep it right in front of you. And this arm is just there to support the other one. Good. Soft straight, hitting 90 degrees range on there and going straight back up. Now the trick here is make sure there's no movement in the elbow either. We just try and keep it as straight as we can keep it. Let's keep going. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one, Christina. And then what we'll do is we'll change over and we'll do the other arm as well. Let's keep working. Good, we've got two more reps. One more, let's try and keep that elbow nice and still. Keep it in place. And change over now. And lift on the other side and let's go. Excellent. And you guys can hear Christina exhaling as she's pushing up and she's inhaling through her nose as she's dropping back down. I want you guys to do the same thing. Good. The support arm does an important job in this particular exercise. The support arm is making sure you don't hyperextend when you get tired and you're not going to do any damage to your shoulder. So it's just keeping your arm in place. Let's keep working. Good. As you start to tire, you're going to start to, your stabilizers are going to start to play up a little bit. So we just want to make sure, again, the support hand is helping um, to maintain control, maintain position. Let's go for two more reps. One last one. And have a rest. Okay guys, we're gonna work some tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. What I wanna do is I wanna develop a nice sturdy stance to begin with. I'm gonna use my forearm to give me added support. So by placing this here, it's actually giving me a really nice sturdy base. Now all I gotta do is worry about this arm. So from here, I'm gonna pull up into a row to begin with. I'm gonna hold that elbow stationary and I'm gonna start to work my tricep kickbacks. So I'm actually extending right out and dropping it back down without moving my elbow. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into those triceps. Okay, so from here, I've got my nice sturdy stance and I'm gonna start to hit it. Okay, you notice I'm actually looking back at my hand and what that does, now forces me, it's like watching your form in the mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that elbow doesn't move. I have to keep working through those. So keep them tucked in. You can see I'm putting a little pause right there and dropping it back. Now the trick with this one is make sure your elbow doesn't drop as you start to tire. So you want to keep it glued to your ribs and you want to keep it there maintained. I'm going to get three more reps and I'm going to change sides. Let's get one last one. And I want you to switch it up. Let's go to the other side now. Okay guys, I've switched over to the other side. Let's go. So again, you can see the same range of motion. So nothing from the shoulder to the elbow. It's staying glued to my ribs and it's staying nice and stationary. And all the movements coming from the hand all the way to the elbow, really tensing up the triceps right here, pausing and dropping it back. That's my relaxed position there. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna exhale, hold and come back. like that. We've got three more reps. One, two, and three. Have a rest. Okay guys, we're going to work some overhead side bends with this one. So this one's a really good obliques exercise. Um, now, because the weight's going to be over my head, I want to make sure I'm holding it nice and tight. So hold with one hand, support with the other, right here, over the top. And what I'm going to do with my legs, um, around about shoulder width, maybe even slightly wider than that, I'm going to go into an oblique tilt like that. And right back up, and tilt to the other side. One last one. Your turn.
Okay, guys, let's get into it. All right. So important thing with this exercise, guys, you notice I'm maintaining the weight over my head, so I'm not swinging with my arms like that. You've got to make sure we're maintaining. Obliques are doing all the work, so I'm going to just tilt to the side, squeeze those obliques and pull them right back up, just like that. Hear me exhaling as I'm working my way back up. Right there. Let's go for three more. Last one. And we're done. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's get started with those triceps, guys, go. So a couple of things I want you guys to watch out for. So your elbow is pointing forward. There you go, like that. Perfect, so you wanna make sure you're not twisting it out. You wanna keep it right in front of you. And this arm is just there to support the other one. Good, soft straight, hitting 90 degrees range on there and going straight back up. Now the trick here is make sure there's no movement in the elbow either. We just try and keep it as straight as we can keep it. Let's keep going. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one, Christina. And then what we'll do is we'll change over and we'll do the other arm as well. Let's keep working. Good, we've got two more reps. One more, let's try and keep that elbow nice and still. Keep it in place. And change over now. And lift on the other side and let's go. Excellent. And you guys can hear Christina exhaling as she's pushing up and she's inhaling through her nose as she's dropping back down. I want you guys to do the same thing. The support arm does an important job in this particular exercise. The support arm is making sure you don't hyperextend when you get tired and you're not going to do any damage to your shoulder. So it's just keeping your arm in place. Let's keep working. Good. As you start to tire, are you going to start to, your stabilizer is going to start to play up a little bit. So we just want to make sure, again, the support hand is helping um, to maintain control, maintain position. Let's go for two more reps. One last one and have a rest. Okay guys, let's get into those triceps. Okay, so from here, I've got my nice sturdy stance and I'm gonna start to hit it. Okay, you notice I'm actually looking back at my hand and what that does, now forces me, it's like watching your form in the mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that elbow doesn't move. I have to keep working through those. Keep them tucked in. You can see I'm putting a little pause right there and dropping it back. Now the trick with this one is make sure your elbow doesn't drop as you start to tire. So you want to keep it glued to your ribs and you want to keep it there maintained. I'm going to get three more reps and I'm going to change sides. One last one. And I want you to switch it up. Let's go to the other side now. Okay, guys, I've switched over to the other side. Let's go. So again, you can see the same range of motion. So nothing from the shoulder to the elbow. It's staying glued to my ribs and it's staying nice and stationary. And all the movements coming from the hand all the way to the elbow, really tensing up the triceps right here, pausing and dropping it back. That's my relaxed position there. Let's keep going. So I'm going to exhale, hold, and come back. Just like that. We've got three more reps. One, two, and three. Have a rest.
Okay, guys, let's get into it. All right. So important thing with this exercise, guys, you notice I'm maintaining the weight over my head, so I'm not swinging with my arms like that. You've got to make sure we're maintaining. Obliques are doing all the work, so I'm going to just tilt to the side, squeeze those obliques, and pull them right back up, just like that. me exhaling as I'm working my way back up. Right there. Let's go for three more. Last one. And we're done. <laughs>